Solving a problem usually means making connections between the given conditions and the conclusion. Let's denote the first condition as one, the second as two. To connect the first condition and the conclusion, let's square both sides. So we get a plus b squared equals 10 squared. Using perfect square formula, we get a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a times b equals 100. Let's denote that as 3. To connect the second condition and the conclusion, let's use the sum of cubes formula. We know the left side equals a plus b, so that's from 2, times a squared minus a b plus b squared equals 100. Now, by condition 1, a plus b equals 10. So we get 10 times a squared, we write b first, b squared first, so plus b squared and then minus a b equals 100. Both sides divided by 10. So we get a squared plus b squared minus a b equals 10. From there, we can solve a b, right? So a times b equals move 10 to the right side. So we get a squared plus b squared minus 10. We denote that as condition 4. Now substitute condition 4 into condition 3. So 4 to 3. So a squared plus b squared, a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a times b using the right side of 4. So we get a squared plus b squared minus 10. The right side still 100. So 2 times a squared plus b squared plus 1 a squared plus b squared. So actually we get 3 times a squared plus b squared. And 2 times negative 10, negative 20, the right side, 100. Now both sides add 20. So we get 3 times a squared plus b squared equals 120. Finally, Dividing both sides by 3, so we get a squared plus b squared equals 40. That is the final answer.